Blake Moore, Manchester University, here following the 2017 HCAC Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships. Currently standing with Coach Jeff Wayton of Rose Holman Institute of Technology, who is our 2017 Head Men's and Women's Cross Country Coach of the Year. First of all, Coach Wayton, a big congratulations. Thank and you. And congratulations to your teams on winning both championships. Thank you very much. Uh, Coach, can you just walk us through your feelings right now uh, following the meet and just kind of give us a brief overview of your performance? Well, to be honest with you, I, on, on the men's side, I, I knew that we had about 15 men who could be in our top five. and. Um, we, we didn't have, uh, I thought, a, a great day, um, but I was really pleased with our five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be uh, Chandler Harkins, Ben Hall, and Evan Amidown. I mean, these they, they kind of came out of nowhere, and, and you look for those uh, athletes who contribute the most when, when it counts the most. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we just had a kind of an average day, but I'm, you know, our, our depth is what really helps us because our, our six, seven, our, our displacers, um, those are guys that were as freshmen. They were running in 30 minutes for, for, for 8K. Sure. You know, now they're getting in and contributing in a big way, being our 6-7, our, our displacers at the conference meet. So um, when you look at those uh, types of performances, you feel good as a coach because you're developing you know, a lot of young people. I mean, those, those guys were nowhere on the, on the uh, radar last year. Sure. Um, but they, uh, and you also you learn a little bit about them where they're willing to step up, uh, again, when it, when it counts the most for their teammates. Right. So. Um, our top four ran okay, um, just okay. I thought um, the race went out fast, and uh, they weren't quite ready for that. Uh, they looked kind of shocked at about a mile, but we were in good position. And then uh, they bounced back to well in, in the second half. Halfway through, they weren't looking so hot. Um, so we, we've been uh, lucky enough to be, for the most part, healthy, and uh, our, our training's been good, so that, that's kind of your... Uh, Kind of your common denominator in battle is uh, you know how consistent you've been and uh, you know just the fact that you haven't missed many workouts and you'll always kind of drop to us the higher your base level is the right, better okay. chance you have under duress okay and so coach uh, now move into your women's team and how you think their performance was today uh it was the race went out very fast you, you got to give it to bluffton and manchester they're they're so aggressive when they race uh two weeks ago we ran into them at oberlin and uh they had a split score halfway through sure. at Oberlin, and, and they were both ahead of us. So we were prepared for that mentally, um, but we were buried off the start line. And uh, But the women stuck to the race plan, and they believed in the race plan, and we, we roared. But the plan was to just be in it at two miles and then attack, and, and that's what they did. Um, and so Callie Marzen uh, just had a great day. She, third, uh, one of our top places ever in, in conference history for, sure. for Rose Holman. Um, Camille Blaisdell had her first all-conference performance. And then uh, Rachel Shabella has been our silver bullet. Um, she came to Rose Holman to play basketball, had run in high school, but mm -hmm. um, very limited. And uh, she uh, didn't run for us last year, and uh, she ended up being our third runner today. Emma Ross, our big goal for Emma this year was to be healthy at the conference meet, and she was. Um, Mary Peterson had a huge last uh, thousand meters and ended up being our fifth woman, but we were very strong all the way back to eight. Uh, we had eight in the top, 24 I believe, okay. and uh, so we were. Uh, we, we knew that. And I tell you, a senior, Annalise Cassidy, had the best race she's ever had in her career track cross country by far today, and really quarterbacked our our pack throughout the middle of the race. So I, I'm very proud of her. Sure. Um, so, Coach, let's talk a little bit about the weather conditions and the course yeah. conditions today. Obviously, weather a little bit on the chilly side, 30 yeah. to 40 degrees throughout much of the morning and then into the early afternoon. And then we also saw a little bit of a mix of snow yeah. and rain before the women's race. Yeah. So what did you tell your athletes in terms of how to prepare for that kind of a race and strategize with the conditions that you had? To, to be honest with you, I, for the most part, I ignore it because okay. I, I think if you make too big of a deal out of it, the athletes get worried. Um, the only instructions I had, keep your gear on, wear all your gear out there and keep it on until the starter tells you to take it off. That was the only time I addressed the weather. Um, you know, we've, it's one of those things where I, I don't never put too much uh, worry into the weather conditions because all the teams are going to have to deal with it. And um, I think throughout the year in practice and in, I make it a, a point not to cut kids out of workouts because of weather ever, you know, and you just try to keep them in there and get them used to performing when they're feeling poorly and when they're when they're feeling great um, and so for the most part I prepared them by ignoring it sure. uh, other than tell, telling them to keep their uh, their warm-ups on um, I, I will say the setup here at Manchester was fantastic having this building just you know right near the start finish sure. um, and I can't thank uh, the coaching staff enough and I can't 
thank your administration enough. Uh, this is the best championship our conference has ever put on, and that's really saying something because we've got great professionals across our conference, and they've put on great championships. But um, this will be the championship that uh, coaches will have to live up to in, in the future. Um, Coach Cash Dollar and Coach Lambert lined the whole course by hand with spray cans. I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, just a great effort from their coaching staff. Uh, first class professionals across the board. I'm, I'm proud to be in a conference where I can coach with Jeff and Brian. So mm -hmm. um, congrats to your staff. Just a, just a wonderful championship. All right, well, Coach Waiton, again, congratulations on sweeping both the men's and women's titles. Thank and good you. luck with regionals and hopefully a national championship run here yeah. in the next few weeks. All right, thank you.